Hello, internet. Welcome back to book review. I'm outside in the forest right now uh, with bears, butterflies, a caterpillar on my shirt, cocaine bear, whatever, dogs. Is there a dog? I don't know. I'm... Anyways, I read two books this month. The books are very epic. Yeah, those two books were. Oh, over there. Squirrel! The first book was Submarine by Joe uh, Tuntern. This is a contemporary coming of age book about a boy named Oliver Tate who is a 15 year old boy living in Swansea, Welsh. Oliver goes through many experiences. He goes through a romantic encounter with a girl named Jordana. Meanwhile, his parent or he is suspicious that his mom is having an affair and he decides to go on a mission and try to fix his parents marriage and his whole family and this leads him to go through a whole emotional ride to try to fix every single one of his problems at his young age my thoughts on the book that it's really funny uh, mostly because Oliver the main character because he has no censor at all and he says whatever he's thinking such as he literally makes a whole pamphlet to a girl he bullies about how not to get bullied in school and how to end like the victim cycle and that was pretty dumb so for that i give it a rating of eight mostly because oliver he's a troll man also this book has a movie and that's the reason i kind of wanted to read this book because the movie and the movie is also as good as the book also has the soundtrack with it and the soundtrack is composed by no other than Alex Turner, the guy that said he wanted to be your vacuum cleaner. I wanna be your vacuum cleaner. That guy, yeah, he's epic. <laughs> other than that, I totally recommend reading the book and watching the film uh, right after. And it makes such a good experience. Yeah, that was the book. So next book is... Yoke by Mary H. Doc K. Joy. This book is about two sisters who are completely opposite from one another. The younger sister, which is our main character, Jane, she fails to pay rent on time and she's always dealing with uh, toxic relationships. On top of that, she has an eating disorder. Then there's her older sister, June, who is the complete opposite. She's very successful. She owns her own apartment in New York. But the plot twist is they both dislike each other. It's until though June gets cancer that it brings them together and they need to learn how to build a relationship with one another and how to be sisters really and be a family. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole kind of brief summary of the book. Yeah. Squirrel. Squirrel. Ooh, birdhouse. Ooh. My thoughts on the book. The book is very relatable and very emotional mostly because of Jane, our main character. Uh, she is very flawed and she is like no perfect human being like the rest of us. And it shows that, the writer shows that. She writes it super realistic. And I think that's such a positive. Another thing is the relationship, her relationship with her sister. It's emphasized really good in the book and she builds so much tension around them. So for that, I give it a seven because the storyline is sometimes boring and very dual on some points and the writer can do so much more. Although one big takeaway I got from the book and one big moral lesson is really just self-help and trying to understand holy biker. Trying to understand 
the need to ask for help, it's okay to ask for help. And that's what the book tries to convey to the reader. So yeah, that was the whole book and I highly recommend reading it if you want to find an emotional coming of age book. So yeah, that was book review. Thank y'all so much for watching the video and feel free to leave a comment down below of your monthly reads and I'll try to respond. Bruh. I'm just kidding, I'm not that popular. <laughs> uh, I'll respond. Uh, I'll respond. <laughs> Thank y'all so much. Good. Bye. Goodbye. Good night, my love. Good night. Pleasant dreams.